Before this video starts, I want to say that I have used all of the mice in this tier list. If you want more info or you don't understand a rating, just watch the full review for that mouse. It will be on my channel. Like and sub. Enjoy the vid. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is a legendary video, an updated gaming mouse tier list. And my god, 65 mice on a single tier list. Truly unbelievable stuff. Um, this tier list was once again made by Synodote, the absolute goat, man of many talents, including making you better at aiming. Discord.gg slash Rebosect, link in the description. Yes, he forced me to say that. First mouse is the Booga Mouse. Um, absolute dog shit. People are like, oh, it's $5. It's good for poor kids. No, it's not. When you actually buy it after shipping and tax, it's like 17 Compared to the next mouse on this list, the G203, which is like $3 more right now, um, just fucking get a G203. Do not support the shitty Chinese OEM brand that Booga sold his name to. Um, the G203, egg shape, amazing. This was my first mouse. The rubber cable, shitty feet. They aren't good, honestly. Uh, but everything else about this mouse is insane for the price, and you can, of course, mod it out. Um, the G703, a mouse that Logitech needs to revamp, make it lighter, uh, because that's really the only flaw with it. And the uh, double-clicking issues because it uses Omron 50Fs, and apparently some scroll wheel issues. It probably belongs in the B tier, but I really like the shape and the click feeling, and it could be seal of approval if Logitech gives it the uh, G Pro X Super Light treatment, you know? Um, next up, the Gret X. Uh, this is another mouse either in the A or a B tier. I would probably throw it in the B tier because it has lots of room to improve, but it's a very good value mouse to begin with. $80 um, wireless mouse with a 3370. The clicks are Omron 20Ms, and they have that cheap, like, G-Wolves glorious type of tensioning. Side buttons were also really bad. Mouse feet aren't that good. Uh, but the mouse itself has a lot of potential and is priced very well. Uh, glorious mice, I think it's safe to just throw these in the C tier. They're kind of all the same, just slightly different shells. I mean, like, the Model D- minus is a better small ergo mouse than the Model D is a large ergo mouse, uh, but it doesn't really change much. Glorious mice are just, like, standard run-of-the-mill. Also, when the fuck are they releasing the Model D wireless? Um, I swear, they promised that, like, a while ago. These Vaxi NP01, I'm gonna throw this in the B tier. I personally just didn't like the shape, and keep in mind, this is a very objective list, where it's definitely not taking in lots of personal preference. And like I was saying, I just couldn't get this mouse to work with me for any grip style. Wasn't a fan of the cable, um, and the stock feet on this one were kind of scuffed. They did slightly improve on their updated mice, but the outset AX, um, some people love this shape. If you like high-profile ergo shapes that really fill up your palm, this could very well be your endgame mouse. Um, it's a bit heavier, like 83 grams, so the cable doesn't bother me as much, but it has that Zowie mouse feeling, um, just really good quality. Um, so I can recommend that if you're into ergos, but for me, I just prefer the Zowie EC3, which we'll get to later. Um, the Skull Mini, man, this mouse is super cheap, super light, but it's also just super shit quality. The clicks and shell will inevitably become creaky on the G-Wolf Skull Mini, but on paper, it just looks like an incredible mouse, and it's really cheap as well. Finally! Getting to a mouse that I can throw in the seal of approval, the GPX, the ultimate safe mouse, $150, but you basically, you get an endgame mouse, I hate to use that word, but very few people just can't get used to this mouse, and I know the ones who can't are very vocal about it in the comments, but I do not care, the GPX is fucking insane. Um, XM1R, another mouse I'm going to throw in the seal of approval tier. Both of these mice are incredible for claw grip. The XM1R is cheaper. Endgame did unfortunately get hit by the chip shortage, so they haven't been able to make an XM1 wireless or really even keep this mouse in stock. But this mouse for like half a year now has just been dominant. They have been able to stock it recently, but I feel like Endgame really set the standard for like what a wired mouse should be. It's the same way a GPX set the standard for what a lightweight wireless mouse should be. That's why they are in the highest tier. Um, next up, the NPO1S. This is easily my favorite Vaxi mouse. One of my personal top shapes for claw grip. Um, the clicks feel amazing. Side buttons are good. This is overall just a really good mouse in the low 70 grams. Some people think about it as an Ergo FK shape. I don't really see it that way, but if you want a small Ergo, I can strongly recommend it. Next up, we have the final mouse, final meme, star lag 12. So bad, so bad, like my video now. Um, I'm going to throw this in the seal of approval tier. I've been maining the Starlight 12 since... I, well, I got my small, I guess. I have the medium now. I do have a QC issue on my medium. It is insane. Do you hear that? 
that is the side of the mouse. Um, but yeah, so I have side flex on one of my two copies. Other than that, they're both perfect. These are wireless mice. They're extremely light. Magnesium alloy. Um, I would not recommend buying one at resale prices, but let's be honest. No matter how much you hate Final Mouse, well, maybe like if you're poor and hate Final Mouse, it's different, but you're going to be in that drop trying to get it. Um, so I, it's just the Final Mouse effect, man. The mice are fucking nuts. Um, now we have the Aerox 3 wireless, a mouse that is not nuts. Um, I'm going to throw this in the D tier. I don't know how this mouse has aged. I don't even know if it gets produced anymore. It probably does. Um, but I think I purposely didn't include my Steel Series mice this time because they just fucking suck. I'm sorry. I'm one of the few people who will say it. That's not true, really. A lot of people will say it. Uh, Jewel of Skull really the same thing as the skull mini except this is a super large mouse if you want something that feels like the zowie ec1 i don't know why i moved it um the zowie ec1 but like lightweight with honeycomb but that's the fucking g-wolf skull now we have literally my least favorite mouse all of these fucking s2 clones the rock talon whatever your country decides to call it the Zenix gx air whatever um these are realistically probably in the c tier but i just hate them so much i'm putting them in the d tier it's the same exact shape with the same exact quality issues because they're all made in the same factory god i just hate them so much um so that is rant aside the viper 8k hertz like, this is a good mouse, yeah, but are you really going to pay $80 for the Razer Viper shape? Like, you could have fucking Viper Ultimate for $80 without the dock. 8K Hertz, it's a gimmick, man. I saw the stats yesterday. 0% of CSGO players use an 8K Hertz mouse. Let that sink in. Um, next up, we have the MZ1. Is this even a question? Rocket Jump Ninja, if your divine presence is somehow watching my video, um, God bless, you made the greatest fingertip mouse of all time. The... Extrify MZ1. Honestly, I don't think there are any major flaws with this mouse, so like the serious rating would probably be A tier. I always have creaking on my Extrify mice, it's just without fail. Um, if people somehow don't get that issue, you're a fucking Extrify plant, hello. Um, but I wish this mouse didn't have RGB, it's just kind of stupid to me. Uh, so A tier. Um, that And it's also $80, and the reason for that price increase is because you're giving Rocket Jump Ninja money. Um, so yeah, now we have the Viper Mini, which I used to just be such a huge fan of because it's like so cheap, such a good budget mouse, and it still is. So, I mean, I guess I still have to really like it, um, because it's like $30 constantly. It has some of the best-feeling optical switches in any mouse, um, not just Razer mice. Only a side buttons on one side. The stock cable, stock feet, they really aren't great, but you can obviously mod those out, and it's still the cheapest mouse in this tier. Um, so, yeah, that the only issue used to be the LOD. People were like, oh, it's still a problem. Shut up. Um, now we have the KPU. Ah, uh, fuck. I'll throw this in the B tier. It's a super aggressive shape for claw grip. as the best coating on any mouse. I'm on 50Ms, but I don't think there's... Actually, no, I did have double-clicking issues, but only when I set it to zero debounce mode. Stock cable, fucking rubber, stock feet, trash. Um, so yeah, I, I wish this mouse was, like, updated and wireless. That would be nuts. Rock it. Do it. Why haven't you already? The Extrify M42 belongs in the same tier as the MZ1, but it actually has a worse cable and it has Omron 20Ms. I don't know why it hasn't been refreshed with the MZ1's features. That doesn't make sense to me. If it did get that refresh, it would probably be seal of approval because it has a swappable back hump. And with the ZA style back hump, it's just a wonderful shape. Um, but yeah, I'd say it belongs in A tier. It's a solid mouse. But once again, mine has creaking because it's made by Extrify. Now we have the Cone Pro Air. This could be seal of approval tier, really, if you like ergo shapes. It's 66 grams. It's a pretty large mouse. Very comfortable shape for claw. I personally hate the clicks. I had a small QC issue with my scroll. Nothing that was too big of a deal. Um, the side buttons were great as well. Rocket is some of the best stock fee. It used to be 130. Now it's only 100. It really could be in this in the seal of approval for ergo mice i might make a re-review of it or something uh now we have the razor viper ultimate it's been around for so long I, people know that i don't like the side grips or the recessed side buttons or the side buttons on both sides that was kind of a nightmare v1 opticals used to suck no longer an issue comes with the charging dock for only 180 dollars without it um it has the like best wireless technology I, i'm gonna shill the fucking razor wireless tech um but yeah i just really have those flaws that keep it out of the seal of approval 
approval. And now the Orochi V2, which is another mouse that I'm going to throw in the seal of approval. I had thought I overrated it, so I started using it again recently, and I realized that this is a very good mouse. It can be as low as 64 grams. Um, the clicks it's using are kill 4.0 switches, great side buttons, really good shape for fingertip, claw if you have small or medium sized hands, and yeah, it's cheap as fuck, like $70. Some people thought it was overpriced, I just never really saw that great wireless tech, yeah, seal of approval. Now we have Piranha Mouse mods, just like all of his mice in general, because it's like the same, like functionally just different shapes. I would say they're B tier. I wish I could give it higher. I know he started using some like thicker material, or some better material recently, so apparently a mice are stronger, but 3D printed mice have always just never really felt as good as like some of the mice up here, so I'm going to throw it in B tier for now. Uh, now we have the HK Gaming Now Sam, a mouse that can happily put in dog shit. I don't even know if the, I don't think this mouse is produced anymore. It was so bad, and it was $70 at first. That was a literal scam. Um, now we have the Model O minus, like I said before, glorious mice. They can just go in the C tier. This is the my probably my least favorite glorious shape. It was just too narrow for me to fingertip grip, which is weird. I love the ultralight too, but that it's just like Model O minus is too narrow, very flat as well. Um, just felt sort of cheap. Hopefully they make a Model O minus wireless. I, I don't even want that. I don't know why I said that. Um, now we have the Cox CM600. Oof. There's like a different version, like the Team Lurker or something. People say that's better quality. I'll throw it in D tier. Realistically, I think it's a dog shit mouse, um, so not D tier. Uh, the cable on mine was terrible, stock feet bad, and it literally feels like an egg. I recommend you watch my video. I compare it to the shape to an egg. It's really close. Now we have the Rocket Kane 200. Is this a Minecraft mouse? I think it is. Seal of approval. Like and sub, Minecraft kids. Um, now we have the Quadriclix RBT. Jesus Christ. Um, this is a dog shit mouse. They tried to reinvent... Um, like the way you hold the mouse, they claimed it's the best for gaming. I, I don't get it. They had like some real, very real doctor um, who had some study or something about their mouse. It was, it was an interesting time. Next up is the Burst Pro, and although I don't really like this mouse, I can't deny that it's an insane value. It's on sale for as low as $45 with Prime. It's basically, I would look at it as a budget XM1R. It just doesn't have the in-hand, like, feeling of a great mouse, and that is the most, like, hippie way to describe it. I, I just don't really fuck with it enough. I, I would probably put it in the B tier. Now we have the Bloody A70. I hate, I hate this mouse. Absolutely dog shit. Uh, that's the mouse that I am using right now. The review's coming soon. Every feature of it is so bad, including the cable. The metal mouse feet are interesting, uh, but oh my god, it can drag click. I paid $120 for it aftermarket. Shoot me virtually. Um, now we have the Air 58. I don't even know where to put this. Um, because, like, don't buy an Air 58 anymore. Um, and why buy the Air 58 when the Booga Mouse is literally the same exact shape for even cheaper. Now we have the Atom Palm Hydrogen, which I would consider a dead project. Um, is that mouse ever going to release? Maybe. Is it worth still thinking about? Probably not, but I do it nonetheless. Um, now we have the Cooler Master MM711, and this just fits right there in the C tier. If it wasn't $30 at times, then I would say, like, maybe it's D tier, um, but it's just so cheap. It's such bad quality. It's inevitably going to break down on you. You could get, like, six of them for the price of a retail Starlight, so that's some food for thought. And now the Zaunkunig M2K, which honestly deserves a tier of its own because it's just nothing like any other mouse. It's $350. It's made of carbon fiber. It's only 24 grams. But in my opinion, its predecessor, the M1K, was just a better feeling mouse, even though it lacked the scroll wheel. Of uh, this mouse, it's just so much money. And I wasn't able to adjust to it. Never felt like I was getting the most out of it. But yeah, it's like B or A tier. I, I, I don't know. It's literally impossible to rate. Now the G303. God, this mouse is so old. It's one of the worst cables an absolutely legendary shape there was that leak of the uh, wireless one coming out i'm sure everybody saw it i covered it a few months ago so that's something to look forward to from logitech i personally don't think we're going to be seeing it this mouse it's really not too hard to find for like 60 to 70 dollars for like a sort of retro mouse it's not bad oh my god i lost it yeah just fucking beat here 
Next up is the mouse with a fan in it, which just takes your standard Chinese OEM mouse and adds a fan to keep your palms cool. It is pretty cool. Um, oh god, so putty, but yeah, it's a D-tier mouse. It's a bit expensive. Maybe if you have abnormally sweaty hands, nothing else works, give it a shot. Now we have the Deluxe M800, which I want to throw in the B-tier, but having the M2K in the same tier, it just feels wrong. Pretend there's like a seal, above seal of approval for just weird M2K, uh, but it, I'm just going to put it in the dog shit tier so I can forget about it. But the Deluxe M800 is a really good value wireless mouse at $45. It does have a 3335 sensor. The clicks are kill 4.0s. They feel really good. The side buttons suck. The mouse feet are horrendous. Like, you need to get core pads. But it's a good value. Um, it's a smaller version of the Viper Ultimate, essentially. Now we have the HSK. Um, I had a sample batch. Of, they've been working on producing copies for a long time, but they just haven't done it. I'm putting in the seat here until I see the updated versions are actually better in hand um, now we have the pulsar x light which oof the original version it could go in dog i think it's a d tier mouse actually and now they've made an updated version with a glass mouse feed so that should be pretty cool and an, apparently a wireless one as well those could probably be in like these tiers or something but the og one d tier the Ultralight 2 is a really good small mouse. I would say it's A tier. The Starlight 12 small is obviously better than it and wireless. And even though the Ultralight 2 was released in drop format, you can still find copies for around $100. At that point, I'd say it's a really good mouse for fingertip and just a good small mouse in general. Um, another great small mouse that took inspiration, uh, to say the least, from the final mouse Phantom design is the Hot S. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture for the Hot ES Wireless because that mouse is much worse, but the Hot ES Wired, I would say, is one of the better small wired mice. It's unfortunate that it isn't always in stock with Prime, but when it is, it's a pretty good deal. It does, of course, have G-Wolves quality, but I've had around four or five copies now, and the worst issue I've had is creaky buttons, but I can't really give you a guarantee that your mouse will feel high quality. But the two finalists for the Aim Lab Skills Challenge were both used using the hot ES, so that must say something. Uh, the Model O Wireless, I would say, belongs in the B tier. It's uh, similar specs to the Gretza. Is it a better mouse? Not necessarily, just a different shape. It has the glorious quality. I need to get an updated version. I wish I had kill switches and just felt better in general, uh, but I can't give it, I can give it a recommendation over some of the other glorious wired mice. Uh, the Death Adder V2 Pro, I think, belongs in the B, B tier as well. This is one of the few shapes that actually feels good for me with palm grip. The mouse alone is a hundred dollars. I don't know why it's not the same, if not cheaper, than the Viper Ultimate. If you really like like the ergo shape you could argue it into the a tier but i just don't see it being much better in the g703 um, in my personal objective experience now we have the pulse fire haste which i used to be a huge fan of and then over time i realized that this is a budget wired mouse at 50 dollars it's not as premium as i thought it was originally um, the gm41 wireless oof i would put this in the d tier msi made a mouse it really doesn't have a hundred dollar wireless mouse feeling to it i had a defective sensor defective side buttons the scroll wheel the clicks they're decent uh the shape is just an elongated version of the viper so it could be good for palm grip but i don't know the g502 in the last tier list i put it in hard but after that it got so much hate that i was like i have to give this another shot and if you don't play games this could be like a tier seal of approval if you play fps there are just lots of better options I need to try a G502 light speed because the stock cable is so awful. The mouse is aids to paracord, but the infinite scroll is so cool. The shape is great. Um, three side buttons is cool. So yeah, I'll try a G502 light speed. The G Pro wireless, I still think that this is just a dog shit buy. There's only a $30 difference in price. And in my opinion, you get so much more from the G Pro X. If you don't live in America, I understand the value can be different, but uh, that's just my opinion. Now we have the Corsair Saber Pro. Corsair made a mouse with an 8k hertz polling rate it's just kind of funny that's the only thing keeping it out of dog shit it does have a pretty good large shape obviously 8k hertz it's not going to work on many games on most systems uh but the, the mouse just had a very hollow cheap feeling to it cable wasn't great if i recall correctly the hk gaming mira just dog shit hk gaming products i don't even want to waste time talking about them origin 1x this is a mouse that has apparently been updated 
It is an $80 mouse that uses a 3335. Apparently, the white version has addressed many problems. I still have not received this mystical white version, um, but for now, it's in the C tier. It is very unique, though, as it's one of the only IntelliMouse inspired shapes on the market. Fuck, that just made me realize I forgot to include the WMO. Uh, also, let me know if I forgot any mice. I'll respond in the comments with what tier they'll be, definitely. Uh, G305, this is a mouse I'm really not a fan of. It is cheap, it's great for for modding but if you're buying it to actually use as a mouse i don't know i feel like the orochi at least in america is a much better value i understand that the g305 is an incredible budget mouse in europe and it could be in the b tier i just strongly prefer the wired g203 to the wireless g305 uh so yeah, yeah i can go and be here and next up the hello kitty mouse which is the rarest mouse on this list i got it on etsy you straight up cannot find it anymore official sanrio licensed product insane mouse for fingertip um and it's just a demonic mouse uh the sirius m an hk gaming mouse. so you would think it goes in dog shit but it was their best one uh but it's still not very good it was like a the final mouse medium shape before the final mouse medium shape existed um it was a bit overpriced for what you're getting it did have that hk gaming feel so eh, could go in dog shit you know i'll just put it there fuck hk gaming um no bias no bias i'm an unbiased reviewer uh now we have the steel series prime wireless which i'm throwing in the c tier uh this actually could go in the d tier because it sucks and it's so expensive yeah it's 130 dollars wow how does steel series get away with that i recently learned that it's actually using a 3335 sensor as well it really could wind up in the seal of approval tier due to just how big of a con this mouse is uh, but yeah in terms of wireless mice i don't strongly recommend it you could wind up liking this weird fucking super sharp shape and i don't know but yeah that mouse is a nightmare the cooler master mm720 nobody cared about this mouse for a while recently reviews have been pretty fond of it it's a very weird shape it's gonna be a hit or miss it, i personally found it to be safe uh, but lots of people including rocket jump ninja just think it isn't a good shape for aiming which makes a lot of sense uses LK opticals, which feel like shit. Um, but it didn't have the terrible quality that the MM711 had. And honestly, you know, it can go in the C tier. Um, Cooler Master needs to release the MM731 in America. Amazon Basics Mouse. Absolute dog shit. Leave a like if you hate Jeff Bezos, yet buy from Amazon all the time. Let's go. Um, the Razer Basilisk. I unboxed this today. The only cool thing about it is that you can change the resistance on the scroll wheel. And for that alone, could go in seal of approval, but it, I don't know. I just haven't used this mouse enough yet seems like it belongs in the c or the d tier maybe c i mean it's just a fucking razor g305 without the or g502 i apologize the Razer Naga. I have not used this. I do not know why this mouse is on the list. I wholeheartedly apologize. I presume it's dog shit. I just don't know. So pretend it's not there. And now we have Zowie mice. These will be quick. Do not worry. Zowie EC3. I think I actually gave this a seal of approval because I was flabbergasted by how good the mouse just felt in hand. An amazing shape. Probably my favorite out of the EC line. And this Zowie C series is going to be big for all of the mice. We see all of these other Zowie mice. They do not have the c series updates so you know where they go the c tier because they need to become members of the c series but in all seriousness these zowie mice have been the same for a while the dog shit rubber cables the coating on zowie mice is so bad that is one of the biggest updates in my opinion also just terrible like side button quality on some of the ec mice if you like the shapes you're gonna like the mice but i just don't think they're worth buying compared to more modern options but when zowie modernizes them they will be great and now let's just take a look at the uh, whole tier list the whole finished objective tier list had to zoom out quite a bit because there were a lot of mice um let me get this minecraft mouse and the hello kitty mouse out of the highest tier um and you are looking at in this a and b tier the creme de la creme of gaming mice because you might think like oh he rushed through oh this is low effort yeah but you try to do a list of 65 mice. It is just ridiculous. Um, thank you to Nootropics for powering me through this great strenuous work. And yeah, if you actually watch to this point, you're sick. You're a sick gaming mouse addict, which is why you should be subscribed to my channel. Um, and that's really going to be all. If you disagree with me, um, please leave a negative comment explaining exactly why. 
And I purposely didn't include just some terrible mice that would belong in the D tier. But if I missed anything big, like I said before, just let me know what it was. Other than that, peace and love, like and sub.